Welcome back. So let's have a look at creating the landing page module and the landing page component uh, to kind of complete part of this task right here. I'm going to uh, drag it over here and we have add landing page module and show products uh, and add the landing page component. That's kind of what we need to do. So let's start out with the first two steps right here, which is very easy now that you know the command that we need to run. So let's jump into our code, run this command ng module, generate module, welcome. I'm going to call it welcome page because I just think it's a better name. And I want to add the route welcome to the app modules. Let's just execute this code right here. When it's done, you'll notice right here that this uh, app routing module has changed to also now contain a welcome path that's actually loading that module just like we did last lesson with uh, our beautiful, beautiful um, products page. So now we have these two uh, access points right here and I'm actually going to add another access point right away because I want a default access point. If you want to go to just the root of the application, I want it to be redirected to the welcome page uh, anyway. So let's jump into Angle.io. I'm going to find routing which is under um, fundamentals. You can go and check that out. There's a lot of information. What I'm looking for right now is actually adding this path right here. So if I hit the root, I should be redirected to slash welcome page. Um, so let's just try and add this route right here. And then there's also a final path down here that just redirects me to a not found component. I want to do that as well. So let's just add that one uh, later on in the code. But I'll just grab it right now anyway because I want to I want to have it later on. So just to kind of put it in here to memorize myself to, to put it in there later. There we go. So now I have these new path available. So we've set up our routes and uh, we will of course redirect to welcome right here if we want to go to that to that path. So if we hit uh, just localhost, we're going to end up in the welcome page. Let's see if this is actually running now. We should do an ng serve now and just see that everything is good. Let's try and run it. I don't know if you noticed that, but the, fa the speed is actually a lot faster now. With Angular 9, they actually improved it. Uh, so there should be a lot faster for you to compile your code compared to the old Angular versions. Let's just see if this works. Notice right here we have a lot of information right here that we're not using. And this is of course because uh, we have the default template still up and running. Uh, let me just close this a little bit so you can see it. Now I want to get rid of all this default template stuff. So let's jump back to the code. And you know that's in the app component. So everything from here and all the way down to the router outlet, and that's all the way in the bottom. Let's just go all the way down here to the bottom. There we go, that's the router outlet. I wanna remove everything for now, get rid of that. When I save this now, you'll see the only thing that's here is welcome works. That's all you're seeing, so that's good. Notice right here, if I put in the, the path, if I put in nothing, it'll actually redirect me to welcome page right away. And that's just kind of a guard so you guys don't end up uh, missing components and getting exceptions because you don't have any any links available for the different path. Another thing, if I go to products now, you'll also know that that's actually working. Products work, so now we have these two routes we can go to. And they're lazy loaded modules, that's the final thing I want to prove to you. If we go to network right here, and we just clean this out, uh, I can actually show you that when I refresh the page, let's actually try and zoom a bit down here, there we go. When I actually refresh the, the page right here, you'll notice that it gets the products module. It'll be different in production code, but here you can see I'm getting the products module. And if I go to the welcome page, you'll notice that I'm getting the welcomes module right here. So it seems that lazy loading is also working. Happy days. So that's it for this lesson. Now we actually added the first two things that we needed on the landing page. Let's just add a little bit of time here to complete those two. This is again, not a lot of time I spent. Um, there we close this and we are good to go to actually start creating some real content on the welcome page. So that's it for the, les the lesson, see you next time, have fun.